Well, you guys got another news video here for you. Microsoft confirms no Windows 12 yet. If you remember, a lot of YouTubers and also a lot of websites were claiming that Windows 12 will be launched in 2024. But remember, Microsoft never actually said that it was going to even release Windows 12. It's just a lot of people assumed that Windows 12 was going to be released. And they even said that the 24H2 release was going to be Windows 12 because of some code that they found inside the actual release. And of course, all this was not true. It's never been confirmed by Microsoft. And as you can see, if you do a search on the internet, there was tons of big major websites that were claiming Windows 12 will launch in June 2024. And remember, Microsoft never actually said Windows 12 was coming next year. And this is why it's always important to wait until Microsoft release the official information. So now we know that Windows 12 is definitely not happening in 2024. And again, it may not even happen in 2025 because Microsoft haven't released any information about Windows 12 or the next version of Windows. So always take what you see online with a pinch of salt. Now we'll go into more detail about some other stuff and Windows 12 after today's video sponsor, CD Key Cells. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro, or a cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Head over to CD Key Sales, create yourself an account, and use my promo code capital B capital R09 and apply this to your purchases, and you will get a 30% discount on all of your purchases on CD Key Sales. You can use PayPal to pay for your purchase. They will then send you your key, and you can activate your version of Windows just like that. It's that simple. So how do I know that Windows 12 is not coming? Well, if you check Microsoft's blog, it actually says here, this denotes that Windows 11 version 24 H2 will be this year's annual feature update. It's actually telling you in bold writing right there that it's going to be Windows 11 24 H2 and not a new version of Windows called Windows 12, like a lot of tech channels were saying. So what's going to be in this big Windows 11 version 24 H2? It's a feature update, which means it's going to have new features and new enhancements, according to Microsoft. And you've guessed it, it's probably going to be based around Copilot and AI and a lot more AI enhancements, according to Microsoft, for Windows 11. So Windows 11 is not done and dusted just yet. It's going to have a lot more stuff added to it. And again, I'm not sure it's a good idea. I just want a working operating system that works perfectly fine rather than having more bloat to have to turn off. But as you can see, Copilot will have major enhancements, according to Microsoft, on this operating system. And there's also going to be some other new features added in as well. So Copilot's going to get a little bit bigger on that desktop. When you click on it, it won't be a narrow little part. It's going to be a lot wider. There's going to be some Bluetooth fixing going on and some enhancements in that sort of department as well. And it seems that Microsoft are really embracing this AI technology and it's going to become very AI based, their operating system. I dread to think what their new operating system is going to be like. It's probably going to be massively AI based, like I've said in previous videos. So hopefully you can turn all of these features off. Another introduction is the sudo command. This will be coming via an update as well uh, from Microsoft. So you'll be able to use the sudo command in Windows, which means it's going to be embracing Android and Linux as well inside Windows, which is a good thing, I think. Uh, again, it's taking the best bits and integrating it into Windows, so you'll be able to do a lot of stuff inside here. You can see on this article on Microsoft's website, it shows you basically the sudo command in action where you'll be able to use it to do certain things. So this is a good way of uh, getting some some of the best features of Android and also Linux inside Windows itself. And remember, these are all optional uh, things. You don't have to use any of this stuff. You can turn it off, enable it and disable it in which way you want to do. As you can see here in the system for developers here, there will be an area inside here which says uh, basically uh, sudo and you'll be able to toggle this on and off depending on whether you want to use it or not. Now, Microsoft are taking Windows into a completely new uh, direction. We are getting the best of Windows and also we're getting the best of Android and Linux integrated into it as well. And AI as well is being heavily used. 
when Microsoft release their next version of Windows, it's going to be AI based with a lot of this stuff, a lot more polished and a lot more enhanced for users to use. Now, also on the side note that you can see here, typing insights feature shows AI stats in Windows 10. This was posted back in 2018, but it's now in also Windows 11. And some people don't like this. It's harvesting in people's information. It's harvesting people's data uh, from their computer. And uh, if you want to turn this off, you can do. I'll quickly show you where to do that in Windows 11. So once you're at the desktop, click the start button and go to settings here. Inside settings, look over on the left for time and language. Click on that one and you should see something on the right called typing. Click on this and inside here, you will see the typing insights. So what we want to do is we want to click on typing insights here and uh, this will give us all the information of what's been collected. So click on this one and there you can see it's turned on. This is Windows is using artificial intelligence to help you type. And you can see here when it's turned on, it's basically saying auto completed words. Uh, I've turned this on just to show you, but uh, it, normally I have this off, but it says as you start typing, we make suggestions so you can quickly finish a word suggested words. We will even guess the next word before you've even started typing it. Keystrokes reduced with text suggestions and swipe words. You will save time by avoiding uh, keystrokes, spelling corrections, and also swiped words. You can see it all listed here. Mine says all zero because I've had this feature off. I've just turned it on just to show you. If you want to turn it off, I would advise you to turn it off because it's obviously monitoring what you're typing on your keyboard to be able to suggest what to give you uh, with certain words. Now you can have highlighted misspelled words and also autocorrect misspelled words on if you want to, if that really does help you, or you can just turn those off as well if you don't use them. If you want to see where this is located in the registry, all you need to do here is type reg edit and open up the registry editor, and then go up to the very top here where it says H key current user, click on this one, and go down to where it says software, open that up, and then go to Microsoft, click on Microsoft, open that window up there. And then what we're gonna do is come down a little bit further down to here and look for input, open that window up there. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go straight into settings. And on the right hand pane, you will see that the actual uh, key that's just been added here, and it's got zero and that's turned off. So make sure that's on zero to have this disabled. And that's where uh, that key is residing inside your registry. Anyway, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments section below what your thoughts are on the integration of Linux into Windows and Android into Windows, and also some of the big updates that are coming with the 24H2 update for Windows 11. Is there something that interests you? Is there things in there that you're looking forward to? I'll be interested to read all your comments in the comments section. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.